Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot and I am here with Magina from Cancer <laughs> Baby Tarot. How are you doing today, dear? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, Carly is basking in the sun in Florida right now, having a great time. <laughs> so that we're, we're a little jealous. <laughs> that big old bee. So, oh, so Gina it. said, Gina said, I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'll be the villain. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, okay. So guys, let's get into this for Aries. What do we got for Aries? Hope everybody is happy and healthy and doing well. So let's see positive, positive energy for Aries. What does Aries need to know? So you know what you want, you, you want equal give and take. You're being very, you're being very king of swords energy, Aries. I see you as being very king of swords because this is about your wish fulfillment and, and having equal give and take in a situation. Um, you want your queen of swords. You want somebody who's matching your energy. There is a pre-empress now take it out resonates with you. You're either the, the uh, pre-empress here, very single and abundant, or you're the king of swords. I feel like you're manifesting, holding on to your, to your soulmate. You want, you want this person to be there with you always. You don't want anybody interfering. You want somebody who's matching your energy. And this is about your wish fulfillment and having what you want. So it's almost like with that five of wands, let them be jealous. Let them be jealous of you. Let that, let them be jealous of you. King of wands. Here you are Aries because you're you're like this is like them being jealous of you okay them being jealous of you you don't care you want what's yours that's why you're coming in in that king of swords energy it's almost like you're protecting what's yours and you want that you want your person to be on the same page as you so you like you're rushing to rebuild something you want something to happen very quickly um and you're not talking about being heartbroken or anything else, anything that may have happened. You're, you're not, you're not putting that out there. It's almost like you're letting go of things that don't serve you, but you're protecting those you love. And this is like, you know, uh, it's almost like you're trying to, um, if this is a twin flame, it's almost like you're trying to get a, get, keep all of the, uh, drama away. But the, the problem with that Aries is that drama is your lessons. And you have to have that drama to, to grow because you're not going to grow from unicorns and rainbows. You're going to grow from adversity, but you trying to protect your loved one from anybody coming at you to, and it's like, I mean, you want to put her in a bubble, put her being the empress in a bubble. Um, you're, you're probably going to have a problem with that in the future. So that's where I, that's what I've got for you, Aries. Okay, Aries, my loves. So this could be you or your person. You go ahead and place yourself where it resonates, okay? So I'm seeing two different situations here, okay? One situation is a true soul tie. We've got the king to the queen of cups. But with the world card, I feel like that connection is actually coming to a close. Why is it coming to a close? Because somebody here had a choice between love or money. Okay, love or money. I'm seeing a knight of pentacles going towards a king of pentacles. So there could be someone older here or someone that has more stability or someone that has more money. Okay, I feel like with the ace of wands, the star, the full card and the three of swords, what happened here was there was a relationship where there was love and a strong soul tie. Somebody here got tempted by the fact that somebody does well financially. And I feel like they took that leap of faith and went ahead and had that one night stand or cheated in some way, shape or form. And I feel like they're going to try to pursue that person that has money. The problem here is it's not going to work out. It's not going to to go anywhere. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like what's going to happen is somebody is going to come back around to this King and Queen of Cups energy to ask for forgiveness. Um, but it's a lie. Like someone here isn't coming back because they wanted to come back. They're coming back because what they were actually pursuing, which is someone that was more well off financially, um, 
didn't come together is there going to be reconciliation there a five of cups someone here is talking to jesus look at this they're on the ground on their knees talking to jesus um i i feel like this person is crying they're sorry they're going to come back for reconciliation but i feel like the other person knows the truth they know that their person dipped out to go see if the grass was green or somewhere else so as of right now i don't know if there's going to be reconciliation or not all i can tell you is this person's going to come back groveling because the mac daddy mac mama here that they were planning to go pursue it fell through it didn't work okay 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 so taurus taurus yours is kind of cut and dry uh, i feel like you're daydreaming of a victory this is like you um you've got your head in the clouds but i feel like um you're a little nervous you're a little nervous with that nine of swords energy um on rebuilding as this this is about rebuilding something with that three of pentacles um collaborating and rebuilding and i feel like what's happening here is you want to be with somebody but you're out in the cold you've got that five of pentacles right between the ten of pentacles and the knight of cups so you what this is what you're daydreaming of a victory is you're trapped in your head wanting to rebuild you're you're wanting to come towards somebody with love you're coming you're coming on that horse but you're out in the cold. So you want to come out of the cold to something long-term and committed. And you are patiently manifesting this, okay? This is something that you probably tell the universe on a daily basis um, about bringing this back together because your happiness is with somebody from the past, Queen of Wands. This person is your person. This is your ride or die. You want to come out of the cold. You're, you're hoping that this is going to be successfully rebuilt but you're manifesting it. You're being very, very patient about how you manifest this too. So um, Taurus, I, I do see, you know what you want and you're headed in that direction. Okay, Taurus. So I got some pretty heavy cards for you guys. Okay. You got the Hermit, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, I feel like you're trying to make a head over heart decision here. Okay. Um, there's a brutal ending that's taking place here, possibly even a divorce. Someone here may be moving out. Um, you know what I'm saying? It could be you, it could be your person. There's a lot of pain behind this. Um, cause it's kind of like an energy of, I love you and I wish I could forgive this, but I just can't. You see what I'm saying? We've all been there at one point or another, right, Taurus? It's like, I love you. I wish I could forgive this, but I just can't. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like the heartache is going to be heavy, but Taurus, I do see you coming out of it fairly quickly because we got you coming into your hoochie phase era here, okay? With the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups, I do feel like you're going to start dating very quickly, pursuing other options, and you may even even find something really serious you know we've got the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you may find your forever person a lot of stability finances are looking really good so i feel like somebody did something that can't be undone and you have to finally you know what i'm saying chop the head off that snake and let it go no matter how much it hurts your heart okay but it's going to lead to something really good okay Okay, so Gemini, Gemini, you are making a decision to cut somebody out, head over heart. So you're not even, your emotions aren't even in this. This is all, all thought, this is all thought process, right? So I feel like starting out here, you have the sun, you have the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles and the sun's right in the middle. So you have a happy family situation, possibly a marriage. Um, you probably have two children here. There's two children and a wife. Um, so it's like, this is a happy wife, happy life kind of situation. I feel like that's what it appears to people. Okay. Because you are definitely in that hanged man position. You are stuck. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're being patient. And it has to do with, um, with that, with that temperance card. It's almost trying to find, um, trying to find the balance, trying to find some peace, right? There's an offer or an apology. Um, coming in there's an ending to this with the world card something has come full circle here there's change in the air right you have the moon and the stars right with this moon and the stars i feel like 
You may be secretly wanting a new beginning. You're hoping for a new beginning. You're manifesting a new beginning. I don't know what's happening, but maybe it's what this appears on the outside. It's not what's actually happening. So most people think that you're, you're in this perfect relationship, that you're happy and everything's wonderful because I have the two of cups here. Like you guys are perfect for one another, but what's happening here you're, you're looking out at the future and you really want to communicate. You want to tell somebody what's really happening. You want to communicate about this five of swords energy. Like this person is controlling and manipulating me and, and everything may look good on the surface, but deep down, this is horrible energy. This is horrible that, you know, it's almost like at the house of horrors is what I'm feeling the, in the energy. Um, You've tried to work on making this decision. You've working on this back and forth. You've been going back and forth, trying to work on something here and you want to speak the truth, but the harsh truth, the harsh truth, this is like, you feel attacked. You feel like there's conflict. There's always conflict. And, and maybe it's, it's, it's going to be hard for people to hear the real truth about what's happening in the situation. But for you, you're coming in as a queen of pentacles and this is really causing you a tower moment. So I, it's like whatever appears on the outside is what's not going on on the inside guys. So it's not all of what you see. Something else is going on underneath the, that people aren't paying attention to, or they're, they're refusing to see what's actually happening here. Okay. My gems. So guys, the first thing that I heard when I pulled these cards was, I don't even chase my liquor. What makes you think I'm going to chase you? Okay. You had someone that stormed out on you. Someone here maybe wanted your attention or they wanted to be right. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like they wanted to put your back against the wall so things could go their way. Now they're crying. Now they're crying because they stormed out the house. They, they hung up the phone on you and they were expecting you to chase to try to kiss, kissy kissy and make up with them. And that is not working. That is not working. And now they're at home in bed crying, wanting to work things out, but they were a little in their ego because it kind of backfired on them, right? So now they want to gain that courage and that momentum to come back around towards you, okay? Because I'm feeling here that Gemini, for many of you with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, you are actually loyal to this person. You know, maybe financially you took care of things or with that 10 of cups, you were really ready to settle down with this person and you're in an energy of you just don't feel like you deserve to be disrespected in that way or hurt in that way. OK, um, with the nine of pentacles here, the justice card and the knight of wands, you're about to teach this person a very serious lesson to appreciate what they got before it's gone, because you're out, you're you're financially, you're doing great hitting the gym. Um, good karma is yours. Uh, the, the, you know, justice is on your side here. I feel like you're looking hot. You're looking good. You know, they're going to come back. They're going to come back with this apology. And I feel like you're, you don't really want to hear what they have to say because your heart had pure intentions here Gemini you, you didn't wish bad for this person you weren't using them or taking advantage of them and they didn't appreciate you and now it is what it is baby excellent excellent okay so cancer 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 you are getting a victory empress energy happiness something's been illuminated and you may be holding back from people who are causing drama because the five of wands is at the center top of your reading there's a lot of drama there's a lot of strife jealousy competition this person this person is just reeks problems right this is just a, a problem maker you see it but you're cutting it out it's like you're, like you're not going to be bothered the victory for you is that you you're just not paying any lip service to it. You're not paying any attention to it. You see it, but it's like, okay, cut it out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're not, you're not allowing it to take hold of you in any way, shape or form. Right. It's like, you know, it's almost like this. You have somebody coming towards you, King of Pentacles, trying to be patient, trying to find some kind of balance. I feel like this King of Pentacles could be the emperor. But this person could be trying to take control of a situation. So maybe this person's coming in thinking that they're going to um, stop the drama themselves, but you don't need their assistance. What's funny here is 
you're already an empress. You don't need their assistance. You can handle this on your own. You're like, you're good. You know, I don't need you to, to take care of me. I can take care of myself. I feel almost like this is an, this is almost like a lesson for the emperor to understand that, yes, it's nice that you sit by my side, but I don't need you to protect me because I'm a, I'm just a, as much of a badass as you are. So, you know, when it comes to this, um, yeah. I feel like they're going to regret whatever they're doing. This third party, if there's a third party that's trying to cause drama, um, it's almost like they're getting they're getting their karma here. Um, it, the truth is, you're moving on from this. You're moving past this. Nothing that they can do is going to to cause you any harm, or um, you're not going to be affected by it in any way. Nor do you need to be protected. But I do see that you do have somebody around you that's in your energy, Cancer. They're an emperor in your energy and they feel like they need to protect you. They need to find some, you need to find some balance with them, but the peace is with them already. You have peace with this person already, um, but they don't need to protect you from anybody or anything because you can take care of it yourself for sure. And you're not bothered by it. You're just not. Okay, my cancer babies. So Cancer, I feel like you're not just shutting out one person, you're shutting out a lot of people, maybe even up to six people here, okay? You are shutting that door and you are bolting it. You know why, Cancer? Because you have found your peace, my loves. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, some of you may be focusing on, you know, fixing up your house, your home, purchasing a new house, saving up money for a house. You are in total and complete peace alone and in your home with your cheese doodles, you know, haven't showered in five days, just moping around the house, doing your thing. You're just loving your peace and your quiet. With the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords here, if people, if anyone in your energy makes a peep or calls causes any type of drama you just you don't want to deal with it you don't want to deal with it and what happens when you find your peace cancer okay people want to come in and destroy it you may have a younger earth sign here capricorn taurus virgo that is coming back in this is someone that's used to coming in hot and heavy. Maybe they they like to text you in the middle of the night. Hey, can I come over? They come, you know what I'm saying? Uh, have sex with you and everything kind of falls back into place again. It's not happening this time, okay? Or maybe when this person pops up, you're usually excited to hear from them. The Tower, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. This person is about to get the shock of their life because you're not letting them in anymore. With the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups, this person comes in all sweet, love bombing you, and then they're right back out the door again. With the Two of Wands, this person is not sure about who or what they want yet, okay? They could be too young, too immature. They may be keeping their options open. Whatever it is, this person comes back every so often to make sure that you're still sitting there on the back burner waiting for them. And you're not waiting anymore, Cancer. You've taken your power back. You you're enjoying your life. I don't feel that you're pursuing love at the moment because you're just so in love with spoiling yourself and giving that time and energy to yourself and filling your own cup. So, yeah, they can eat their heart out. Most definitely. Most definitely. Okay, so um, Leo. Leo, I feel like you have a lot of drama around you. With that Five of Wands energy... Um, somebody may be jealous of your marriage. Um, I do have a king to the queen of pentacles. Somebody could be jealous of the of a marriage and it's causing a tower moment because they want they want they want to cause they want to win. They want to win, they want to cause conflict, they wanna they wanna control the situation, they want they want to win. They're jealous and they're flanking flanking this ten of pentacles tower moment is the five of swords and the five of wands. I do have the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. And I, I see that you have peace and balance with each other. And I feel like this is an outside source, right? They want to, they want to take their daydreaming or they're confused. I don't, I don't know what their choice is. I mean, it's like, this is a, this person is not happy and, and they want to cause drama. They're out in the cold. They may be daydreaming of moving towards your person. 
but I feel like what's happening here is the will of fortune and the four of cups. You know, the divine is saying, you know, they're just going to be sitting under that tree miserable. They're going to be unhappy. No matter what they're doing, they're not going to affect the peace that's between the two of you already because you have peace and balance with this person. And it doesn't matter what the outside world wants or needs. You guys are fine with each other and they're not going to be able to, you know, come in and cause problems. It's just not happening. They're being left out in the cold. Divine, the divine is saying, you know, you want to be discontent. You've missed an opportunity, you know, whatever this is, you're unhappy or you've missed the opportunity. This person's already happy where they're at. Yeah. So nothing's going to change there, Leo. Okay, my darlings. So Leo, I have to say this is a really, really beautiful reading. Um, I feel like both you and your person may be coming into this energy because it's like one person starts really thinking about the other person and then the other person's going to start thinking about it too. So I feel like you're going to find that we've got two people here thinking of the same thing. Um, with the two of pentacles and the ace of cups, I feel like the thought process here is I wonder if they still love me or if they would want to give this another shot. I do see communication coming in here with the Page of Wands and the Two of Wands. I feel like they're going to make that decision to actually reach out. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, I'm seeing reconciliation. I'm seeing joy, love, forgiveness, long-term commitment here, financial stability. I mean, it's beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. A lot of sexy time, a lot of communication, um, a lot of traveling. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, working it out, talking about past issues. With the King of Wands, wands and the justice card and the three of wands i feel like we have someone that went from a king of wands energy to an emperor energy here leo so i feel like this is someone that has grown a lot since you guys have been separated. When you were with this person, they just weren't ready because with the Wheel of Fortune here, Leo, I do see this coming back in divine timing. Three of wands, you guys are both longing for each other. You guys are both longing for each other. So I do see it, you know, if you find that you're thinking of somebody and you just don't understand why and you're wondering, you know, about this person or maybe you have dreams about this person, they're coming back. They're coming back around, Leo. So hang in there. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, okay, now this could be you, Virgo, or this could be the person coming at you. Take it out, resonates with you. But somebody's trying to hold back from having a new beginning. So it, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to be with somebody, this person's holding back from love and it's because this person's trying to heal. They're trying to heal. And there it's going to be, they're, they're telling you that they're just trapped in their head. They're having, they're having a lot of panic attacks. They're having sleepless nights of, about how to move forward because they're, they're like, how do I let go of my defenses? How do I overcome, um, what I'm feeling? Um, I don't want to go from the, fire into the frying pan or whatever that is, or vice versa from the frying pan into the fire. Um, because this person feels like they haven't taken enough time to heal themselves from whatever they've been through. But I feel like Virgo, I feel like this energy is your king of swords energy. You're coming in as a king of swords energy. You're being very strategic about this. You're plotting, you're planning because this is something you really want with the Hierophant sitting next to you. It's like, this is somebody that you really want to be with. And I feel like what, this is your wish. This is your wish. And you want to transform whatever this person's thinking. You're, it's almost like this is an opportunity for you to help this person get through whatever this is. The opportunity to help you help this other person heal so that they can go forward with you in a relationship because they're avoiding love because they feel like, um, they've been through so much and they just need to take the time to heal themselves. Now, with you plotting and planning about this relationship and your wish, um, you, you know, you have an ending that you your wish could end or it could transform. It's up to you. If you're going to help this person through, you, you're doing some soul searching here. You're really thinking this through. You're taking some time alone to really, what can I do to help this person? Because this is somebody that, you know, be, oh, through it's almost like your your soul searching about the broken heart from the past right you know this person's been through it they've been through the ringer you want to be with this person so it's almost like what can i do to help this person through this um i really see that you're really trying you're you're going to make the effort to help them 
because you're not going to let them walk away from love with you. That's what this is about. Okay. So Virgo, this could be your energy. It could be your person's energy. But what I'm seeing here is a nice solid case of the woulda, shoulda, couldas. Okay. This is someone that's looking back with the seven of pentacles. They're looking back and they're nostalgic with the four of wands, the king of pentacles and the world card. Someone here is learning a really big lesson because they had stability, financial stability, a beautiful home, a beautiful relationship. They had a relationship with somebody that was husband or wife material. Okay. Now, the problem is, is that when they were in this relationship, they kept sabotaging this connection because they wanted to go out with their friends or they wanted to go speak with third party energies or, you know, maybe this person is someone that would ask for threesomes or, uh, you know, just just crazy off the wall stuff. Right. OK, with that five of swords energy, it was almost like a gaslighting energy, like someone here was super disrespectful so that they could have their space to go see if the grass was greener somewhere else. But now what's happening versus go is I feel like this person is free to do whatever they want because you have taken your power back ace of swords and the nine of pentacles you have or they have you take it as it resonates you're realizing here that this person is doing just fine you know or they're realizing that you are doing just fine ace of swords and the nine of pentacles you're winning at life glowing here and now they have all of these third party energies with the lovers card there that's Adam even the snake right when this person was with you, they were tempted by all these outside entities, and now they can have it. You must have told this person, listen, if that's what you want, go go ahead and do you, right? Go do whatever you want. Now they have it, okay? But with the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords, they're not happy because they can't forget you. You know, it's kind of like you're going to eat at a five-star restaurant and then, you know what I'm saying, going to eat at the dollar store type of thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they've tasted the best and now they're not happy with all these little things that they wanted before. So they're crying. You see what I'm saying? Eight of swords, they're stuck in their head. This is someone that wants to go home. You know, they didn't appreciate what they had when they had it. They wanted to go play. They wanted to be in the streets and now they're in the streets crying that they want to come home it is what it is people are crazy up in these streets <laughs> they go around that mountain a few times okay yeah. so libra libra you're coming in as the king of swords and i feel like you're manifesting a new beginning you know this may be a new job this may be whatever this is it's prosperity it's love and abundance right um, your judgment here, your judgment is that you are overcoming whatever obstacles that are in front of you and you're making a decision to cut out things that don't serve you with that two of swords, seven of wands energy. Um, I feel like this is you picking a path to rebuild. This is whatever this is, whatever this is for you, you've picking, you're, you're choosing the path and you're headed down there. You're rebuilding, you're taking control. You're taking control with that emperor energy. And I feel like it's almost like you want peace when you sleep at night. I don't know why I'm feeling that for you right now. With that temperance card, you want peace and balance. You want healing. And I feel like you're. this is you sleeping, recovering, resting, whatever this is for you, because you have taken the time to figure it out for yourself. You figured out what it is that you want. Now, this new beginning that's coming for you that you've manifested, you're, you're just like you're on the right path. I mean, and look at you, you're moving forward. You're going from rough waters to calm waters. You're getting where you need to be. This is kind of a cut and dry situation for you, um, Libra, whatever you manifested. And by the way, guys, tomorrow is the second. Well, you won't see this until the third, but the second, the first, second, and maybe even the third of March, best manifest manifestation times of the year. Okay. So manifest what you want. Like this, this is beautiful energy for you. Um, Libra, you're getting what you're manifesting for sure. Okay, Libra. So guys, I don't know if you have children with this person or if this person's younger than you or if they don't make as much money as you, okay? But you've got someone here that is absolutely obsessively wanting to come back, okay? 
I see this person sleeping on your doorstep. I see them sleeping outside your door in their car. I mean, it's a state of obsession where they're just not going to stop until you take them back, okay? This is someone that is willing to be more committed. This is someone that's willing to be more stable. But Libra, please keep in mind that they're willing to go from a page to a knight, Okay, so you're, you're, you know, this person isn't jumping into emperor energy. You might see a slight improvement with this person if you take them back. But this is someone with the devil card and the four of pentacles here. Very possessive person. It is not going to be easy to get away from this person. I do see if you should reconcile with this person that they are sorry. They will act a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? But is it going to be to the standard that you need? No. I mean, with the knight of swords energy here... um, and the magician, this person is saying whatever they need to say to get in your good graces, okay? They're going to manipulate. They're going to do and say whatever they need to say. Again, small improvement, yes. But this person's promising you the sun, the moon, the stars. You're not going to get that from this person right now. It's either they're younger than you. They're way more immature than you. Um, the, this person's not really ready to settle down. I feel like their main purpose for wanting to be in this relationship is that possibly you know, you make more money than them or you have more than them in some way, shape or form. Even if you just have a little studio apartment with a broken down Toyota Corolla, if this person has nothing to their name, you are rich to this person. Okay. So, you know, you take care of them, you know, and I feel like more so that's th this person's looking for a parent, not a partner. Long story short. Okay. And that's it. That's what I got. Yeah, no, no. We don't want to be a mother or a maid. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, they're looking they're looking for uh for someone to take care of them. No, that's okay. So um Scorpio. Scorpio, your judgment about somebody from the past and their offer, that's what this is about. This is about you. Some this is what you think of this person from the past and their offer. They are manifesting a new beginning with you. King of Swords. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? They are manifesting a new beginning with you, but they're lying. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. They have moved on with a third party. This person has moved on with a third party. If they're coming in offering you something, they're offering you that Ace of Cups, and there's emotional communication about the relationship. This person telling you they are flat out blowing smoke up the old Darieris, okay? They are blowing smoke. This person has lied. They have already moved on with Elvis has left the building, people. This person has with somebody else. They, you know, they're coming to you saying that they... They want to be with you in a family situation. They want to offer you this family situation, a new beginning in love. They want this relationship. Spoon, moon, June is what I'm seeing, right? But they are juggling. They are juggling you with another person. They are juggling you. Five of swords. They want to play mind games, manipulate, control the situation. But uh, it's almost like you've already recovered from their betrayal with that ten of swords. And you, you keep looking back at the past mistakes that this person made and you feel very guarded and defensive. It's like you're already on guard when this person comes in. This is your judgment about there. Whatever they're telling you, you already know it's a lie. You already know it's a lie. They have ulterior motives. They want their cake and eat it too. But here, you've got the Ace of Wands. They're hiding the fact that they're having sex with somebody else. Um, and you're communicating. I know there's another choice. I know you have other choices. This is almost like when you communicate that you know about the other choices that they have, it's going to bring down that tower for this person. They thought that they were going to come in and tell you whatever they wanted to tell you and that they were, you were going to just fall back into their arms and believe everything they said and they're going to dip out on you and go to the other person now the fact of the matter is in this case because they're they're manifesting with you a new beginning of um, prosperity you know, love and abundance so you've got the ace of pentacles right they're coming in with love and finance right so i feel like you may have more money than the other person. So they get more out of you than they do the other person. So, but they're keeping this person on the side, regardless of what they're telling you. And you already know that. So you're going to blow them out of the water. Um, when they come back, trying to get back with you. Okay. Scorpio. So yeah. 
Okay. What I'm getting here, Scorpio, is you could be married to this person. You could be engaged to this person. You could be living with this person. My point by saying that is this is a serious relationship. Okay. This is a serious relationship. I feel like what's happening in this connection is that it has gone cold. It has gone cold. I feel like what we have is one person that is definitely cheating and stepping out on the relationship, but the person that's being cheated on does not want to, they want to pretend like everything is okay. My marriage is okay. My home is okay. My family's okay. Everything's okay. Like there's an energy here of somebody that's lying to themselves. Okay. They sit home alone a lot. They're, they're, you know, they, they don't even hurt though, because they just keep repeating everything is okay okay now the problem with this is when you see a problem and you're not addressing it if you think that you could just sweep it under the rug it's not going to work because this is what's going to happen eventually this person i feel is walking away to go have uh you know to start something with someone else do you see what i'm saying scorpio I, I feel like, you know, there was an energy of, okay, they'll go, they'll cheat, but they're never actually going to leave me or get a divorce or leave the house or move out. Not true. Not true because this person is now meeting somebody that they actually do want to, with this Eight of Cups, walk away from you for. And with the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Cups here, you're not going to be able to believe what you're hearing. Not only have you been sitting home crying, knowing that your person is out with someone else and staying quiet about it, but this is like... You just can't believe your ears at this point. Do you understand? Um, we've got the fool card, the nine of swords. You're sitting home in bed. You know what I'm saying? Knowing the truth with this ace of swords, knowing the truth, four of cups, sitting there alone, um, is just sitting there waiting while your person is out there playing. And just to keep your household together or just to keep the family together or the relationship together, maybe you're engaged to be married with this person and you didn't want to call off the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever your reason were you know as much as you're sitting there you know just eating everything this person is shoving down your throat to add insult to injury now they're literally telling you well I've decided that I'm leaving and I want to go be with this new person so that's going to be a lot to take in Scorpio so if you're the one going through that I truly am sorry I'm sending you hugs and love okay so we have Sagittarius Sagittarius I feel right off the bat you have somebody doing magic here I feel like somebody is trying to manipulate and control a situation. They want you trapped in your head all the time, having sleepless nights, maybe having nightmares about your person or your partner, because you do have the devil and you have the seven of cups, the devil's illusion, right? So this person with that five of swords wants you trapped in your head, having maybe you're maybe having very strong nightmares. You may be going through some, some uh, night terrors. Um, but it's somebody from the past who's very unhappy. It's an un unhappy person from the past, for sure. And I feel like this third party is wanting to move towards your person. Or they're trying, this may be somebody from your past, because I feel like they're moving towards your person. Um, whoever the King of Swords is to you, Sagittarius, this person's wanting to cut out the King of Swords. They want this person out of the picture. This third party wants to move move in and cut this king of swords out of the picture. I feel like you I, I feel like you see this. I feel like you've done a lot of soul searching about this. You're you're deep in thought here and you I see you ending ending all this drama. I see you ending all the drama. You have the strength for your wish fulfillment to walk away from somebody. So you want to be with this person. Even if you're having night terrors, you may be more in control of the situation than you realize. Even if this person is coming at you using witchcraft, you may be repelling that crap back to them. Okay. Because you know what this person's up to, you know what they're about. And it looks like with the hermit card that you know what's up. And this is about ending all this drama ending all the jealousy, ending all this whatever, because you have the strength to walk away from this person. And your judgment is they're nothing but drama. Okay, your judgment is they're nothing but drama. So good for you, Sagittarius. You got the strength to handle it. Okay, my darlings. So Sag, I feel this is a, a little 
I don't think I've done a reading like this before. For the Sagis that I'm talking to, you guys have maybe done something with your appearance or I don't know, maybe you're on YouTube or TikTok or you've been posting more on Instagram or Facebook and there's something that you're about your appearance that's attracting a lot of attention. I'm seeing specifically a fire sign and an earth sign staring at this star. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but both of these kings are looking towards the direction of the star in the middle. The thing though is, Sag, I see you in this form of cups energy very lonely like you're getting the attention but it's not the type of attention that you want with the page of wands the nine of swords and the knight of wands it's like people are seeing you they're sexualizing you do you see what i'm saying like they're not coming forward with commitment they're coming forward you know in full energy um with the page of pentacles the lover's card you may be getting people that are committed that are hitting you up that are married you see what i'm saying the devil the moon and the tower and you end up finding out that these people are in relationships and they're trying to use you for third party energies with the two of swords and the four of cups you're not going to deal with that that is not what you're looking for do you see what i'm saying but there's something about your appearance um i don't know you just you're looking good the way you're glowing the way you're shining people are sexualizing it instead of seeing you for who you are as a person do you understand so i doubt that'll last forever but you may come into that period of time where you're noticing that it's like Nobody actually wants to date you or or be serious with you. They're just sexualizing you and, and you know, the way you look, okay? Um, but I don't feel like you're going to deal with that. You're going to cut these people off. Okay, so Capricorn. Capricorn, I see you walking away from a Queen of Swords, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. You're coming in as a King of Wands. Um, it's almost that um, leadership that you're very charismatic, good looking. You go for what you want. I see it. I want it. It's mine. Um, and I feel like you want to be with this empress from your past. So the emperor is the uh, the king of wands in a lower vibration, right? Uh, or the king of wands is the emperor in a lower vibration. And I feel like with this, this king of wands energy, that somebody from the past is a past life soulmate, empress energy um, that you want to be with. You want to offer that cup. I feel like it's been a long time coming and you're kind of guarded because of some kind of betrayal. And I feel like you're very trapped in your head about the past. And divine, the divine timing is saying that it's time for you to master your emotions here um, as this King of Pentacles. It's, it's time for you to take charge here um, as a King of Pentacles in this situation. But I feel like you're back and forth about the deception. You're still, you're still reliving something that you've done where this Empress is concerned. And I feel like it's because you were very, Maybe you plotted planning with the King of Swords here. This is being strategic, not showing emotion, but very truthful energy, but has the intention of winning against his opponent, right? And and so I feel like you're back and forth about the deception, and it has to do with the relationship with the Queen of Cups. Now, I want to get more clarity about this. So this is about a relationship you had with another person. You may have cheated on this Empress. Um you're walking away from the queen of swords up here. So that may be the queen of cups. This could have been somebody who's in their emotions, but now they're matching your energy as the king to the queen here. Right. And I feel like, yeah, it was, it was a third party that you may have had um, a lot of love for, but it was very toxic. Okay. So you're walking away from, this is a karmic relationship that you're leaving behind. And because the divine is telling you it's time for you to master your emotions and be where you need to be. But again, you keep looking back at the past and you feel very, uh, you know, you're very guarded about something that you've done, but you've had to do some soul searching here in order to move forward. That's where you're at Capricorn. Hey, Capricorn. So, Cappy, what I'm getting for you guys is you have someone here that's mistaking your kindness for weakness. 
You know, if someone were to ask me what is the most responsible sign of the tarot, I would say of the, you know, of the zodiac signs, I would say Capricorn. And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles energy here, Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, you're feeling really trapped in a connection where you are giving a lot, you're very responsible, you're handling your business, and you're getting nothing in return. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. You could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, or a Sag. Um, this person could be very emotionally manipulative, okay? And with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you're starting to catch on to the lies, the manipulation, the deceit, you're starting to see it. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're going to be ma not manifesting an ending. You are, um, preparing for an ending with the strength card, the 10 of pentacles and temperance. I feel like you're slowly, but surely putting money to the side, getting everything organized and ready for you to make your exit. 10 of cups and the 10 of swords, you know, this had the potential to be something long-term. It had the potential to be something beautiful. I feel Feel like you put your best foot forward in this situation you know you did the best you can but you were getting nothing back from this person and uh, with the justice card and the tower you know Every decision you make today, you have to pay for it tomorrow, even if it's the smallest of things. And this person had a good run with taking advantage of you and playing you like a toy, but now it's your time. And you're coming out of this in Ten of Pentacles energy, so you're going to be just fine. This person, though, is going to have to, you know, pay their karma for how they treated a blessing. You were a blessing in this person's life, and now um, they're going to have to see what life looks like without you. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, I feel like you may be you may feel like you're you're out in the cold and it has to do with I I feel like you're out in the cold but this is like you coming back from the battle victoriously. Like, you know, being being left out in the cold, you're you're overcoming something and it has to do with something that was very painful very painful. I feel like you're coming towards somebody with love, but you feel like, yeah, you're passionately communicating love. This is a victory. You're coming out of the cold. Um, after you've been betrayed, this is like a betrayal that you're overcoming and you're offering love because you, once you've come out of this cold, you're recovering. You're, you know, you're taking the time to rest and recover. Um, I feel like this is you going to, you know, it's like, look, I've overcome this obstacle. This is an obstacle overcome because after you overcome this and heal, you've got love coming towards you. And I feel like this has happened because you've done a lot of soul searching. You've gone within. Um, it may be about a queen of pentacles. You could be married to this person or they're a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but they're very solid, stable, dependable, grounded energy here. Um, I feel like you've overcome. You saw, you saw all of the, the drama and um it's almost like you fought back whatever this was that came at you with a lot of you know with all 10 swords you were able to you were able to overcome this it doesn't matter what they throw at you you are going to be okay that's what this is about you overcoming something and saying look i've i've gone through i've walked through the fire right you may have been trapped in your head um I don't feel like this is a reconciliation. You may have been trapped in your head about a third party that you're not speaking about or not speaking to. So you may be trapped in your head about somebody you haven't spoken to because they are very jealous and they cause a lot of drama, but you saw this. You saw the harsh truth about this person. That may be how you overcame this is you literally took the time to see this person for who they really were. You may have been trapped in your head about them, but what I see down here on the bottom I feel like somebody from the past, you're very unhappy about somebody from the past and you needed the strength to, um, to look back at their offers, to look back at the past, the mistakes that were made and maybe the offers that they made to you, Aquarius. And you're coming in as a king of, king of wands here. Um, very passionate. Maybe you're very good looking for a long time. So it's almost like you've overcome what they've, what they've, what they were. Um, if this person was coming at you with a sexual, 
energy, like you've overcome whatever they threw at you, whatever their offers were in the past. This is you coming in, taking control here, right? Because that King of Wands can also be leadership, right? It was a long time coming, but there's an ending. Something has come full circle. Something has completely ended where there was a passionate beginning. So I so if this was sexual, that they came at you in a certain way, you have to see this person for who they really are and you're releasing yourself from it. So I went around the mountain, but I came back to the right conclusion here. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. So here's the thing, Aquarius. You know, the world lives by certain rules and standards and, and all that other good stuff. You don't. Aquarians don't. And a lot of people, they'll read that on Google and whatever, but they don't really understand that that actually applies it's not you're not just a paragraph on google with the ace of swords here and the chariot you are aware that you know maybe you've been dating someone for a certain period of time and the next step is to move in together get engaged have a baby and get married in any other zodiac sign or in any other place in the world that would be normal but we're dealing with an aquarius and you beat to the sound of your own drum with the strength card and the fool card here aquarius you're more of an energy of like, listen, I love you. I'm here. We're together. But I don't really want that type of commitment in my life right now. I want to be free. You're still not sure about this person. Or maybe with that two of pentacles energy here, um, you just, you know, there's more things that you want to do in your life before you get married. Maybe you're juggling businesses or you're trying to decide where you want to live or what you want to do. You're not really in an energy of wanting to make that strong of a of a commitment just yet. The problem here is, is I feel like you're being given an ultimatum Aquarius and you're becoming very resentful towards this person because of that eight of swords, five of cups and the devil. You love this person and you don't want to leave them, but it's like, you don't want to feel forced to have to, you know, do all these things that you're not ready for just to keep them. And you almost wish that they would just be happy with what you guys have <clears throat> right now. Um, I feel like this person with the world card, the magician, the four of wands and the 10 of pentacles, this is someone that is ready. You know, they're ready for the next chapter in their life. That world card isn't always a representation of endings and new beginnings. Sometimes it's just the next chapter. I've learned, I've exhausted everything I need to know here. It's time for me to, for us to move on and do something more and start planning our future. If this person, and it could be a Virgo, can, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, strong Pisces. If this person doesn't stop, if this person doesn't stop, you may end up telling this person, listen, no matter how much I love you, I, I, I'd rather just be alone than be with someone that forces me to do things that I'm just not ready for. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm present. I'm loyal to you. I'm doing all the stuff and things. You're trying to push something. You know, there's more that I want to accomplish in my life, you know, and I'm just not ready for that. So... Yeah, five of wands and the ace of cups and the two of wands. And this person's argument, Aquarius, is, well, do you want someone else? Are you still looking for someone else? I don't think that that's your end goal, Aquarius. You're, you're just not ready to make that level of commitment just yet. Wow. Okay, so Pisces. Pisces, I feel like what you have come in, you're dealing with some mean girls. You're dealing with... Some mean girls now this could be sisters and your mother this could be friends but this queen of cups has a victory over the betrayal the betrayal is with a queen of pentacles and a queen of swords uh could be a taurus virgo capricorn gemini libra aquarius um but i feel like you have the victory here over their betrayal and i feel like they may apologize to you there's a i see an um an offer or a, an apology com being communicated here so they're going to tell you they may tell you that they're sorry or whatever this is but i feel like with this you're you're manifesting you're manifesting your judgment or they may be manifesting reconciliation so let's see what's happening here i feel like i feel like their wish fulfillment is for you to move on to a new beginning they want you out of the picture. They want you out of the picture. So whatever whatever they come in with an offer, they're manifesting judgment of some sort. And I feel like the judgment is for you to move on. It's not a, it's not that they're trying to reconcile with you. I, I feel like that they're um somebody here is daydreaming about somebody from the past. 
And I feel like they're unhappy and they're discontent and they may have, they're going to regret it. They're going to regret it because I feel like you're happy. You're happy. Nine of Pentacles. You, you are single and abundant. You've got the sun shining on you, right? And you, you have the strength to, for their nonsense, right? You, you have the strength to overcome their five of swords energy. So if they're, you know, just know that these people are jealous of you. They don't, they, Whatever they're doing, they're manifesting judgment of you moving on. Their idea is for you to get out of the picture. No matter how they, they're coming at you as a frenemy. They're, there's no, they're not nice. They're not nice. They're very mean girlish. Um, you're dealing with two people who, um, it's almost like the mother and the daughter want the ex. Or the mother's trying to get her daughter the ex. But you're with the ex. That's the thing. You have the you have the strength to overcome whatever it is they're dishing out. So just know that they they are going to come at you like a friend, but they're not. They're a foe. Okay, Pisces. So Pisces, you got a really amazing reading here. Okay, Pisces, I think that you are about to meet the love of your life. And I feel like this may happen with the Seven of Cups when you're around multiple people. So either you're dating multiple people or you're out in the dating scene and you're about to meet the one or you're going to be out with a group of friends or at a party or at an event or something like that. This person, when you see them, you're going to be awestruck. Okay, this person's going to be exactly your type. Very good looking, very sexy, charismatic, funny. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel that you're going to fall head. You guys are both going to fall head over heels with each other. I think that when you are in the talking phase with this person, there may be a disruption here because there's something from the past that comes back around somebody. I, I feel like this person that you're leaving behind feels an energetic change. You know, and, and that's a real thing, guys, okay? They can sense that your energy is not there, that it's distracted elsewhere, and this person intuitively knows. It's like, as soon as you're attracted and your, your attention is diverted, this past person, like, oh my gosh, I gotta go back to Pisces. So they come in fighting, apologizing, wanting to work it out. I don't feel that you are going to, uh, to do it, Pisces. With the death card, this new person that you're meeting, they're about to change your life. Six of swords, three of wands six of wands and the ace of pentacles this is a monstrous upgrade like we're talking monstrous you are leaving this person in the dust and moving towards the love of your life oh wow wow okay guys that's all we have for you um please um like share subscribe go to both our channels share it out and we will see you next week for another exciting episode of Spilling the Tea. Have a great week. Bye, guys.